Good morning. What day is it? What day is it? What day is it? It is. <laughs> How are you this morning? If you were to pick a color, what color would you pick? I'm going to pick blue. So, today is the 60th episode of Almond Time, and in the school calendar, yesterday would have been the last day of classes. So, this is going to be the last video for the school year of 2019-2020. I will do more episodes, for sure. But for now, this will be the last for this school year. And it's been a good time. It's been a learning curve. It's been a lot of fun. It's kept my brain working to figure out what I'm going to do each episode. So I hope you've enjoyed the episodes. So we're going to continue on with today's in our usual fashion. So what the date is... And I gave you a clue. That's right, it's Dance Friday. So there it is on the calendar. Friday. And the number is right there. That's right. It's 1, 9, or 19, and see how it's 60. We've had 60 episodes. And what is the month? January, February, March, April, May, June. That's right. And the year is 2020, or 2020. That is correct. And what is the weather like? I wonder what the weather was like on March, the first episode I did. <laughs> I'll have to look back on that and see. I'm sure it was snowing and cold. And now, if I look outside, it's another beautiful sunny day with blue skies. And the temperature is 22. And Meaford is 20 and this weekend is Father's Day there's been some confusion some people thought it was last weekend multiple people like I've heard thought it was last weekend but it is this weekend okay in the news Trudeau was getting a little bit of heat from the Conservative Party, they're trying to find a new leader, and he got a little bit of feedback in regards to COVID-19. Personally, I think he handled it quite well. I don't think anything anyone would have done would go over well with the opposition. Uh, it was, it's a very hard, it was, has been a very hard time, and I think he did a good job with his leadership. Um, it was definitely unknown territory and uh, it was all new for everybody, so I think he did well. Ford, as things are opening, uh, not just him, but medical professionals are urging people to wear masks, especially when in crowds. There's been some pictures just about people outside even, and they're encouraging people to wear masks. It, it will help. And my students and families are definitely wearing their masks. When I've seen them out, they are wearing their masks. So good job, guys. Good news. There was an Uber driver that was rewarded a new car from Jada Pinkett Smith for delivering thousands of food deliveries uh, to hospital workers. So a nice story. And Morocco sends 8 million masks to 15 African nations. So that's nice. And it's going to be summertime. Summer 
time is here. So a good thing might be to make a new schedule. That's what I'm going to do. Not, not just yet, because I still have next week for school. We still have an online classes next week, and I still have to do my report cards, and I still have to clean up some stuff in the classroom. So I will make a new schedule with some of my tasks that I want to get done in the summer. So for sure, one is my gardening. Keep up my gardening. And I have sewing projects that I thought I would get to do. I haven't done one. That shirt that I showed in one of the first videos that I was going to sew the sleeves, I haven't touched it yet. So that will be a summer task. And I'd like to also visit some waterfalls in our community. We have some plans for that, right? Okay, the comic today. So I thought the last comic, I'm just going to go to the end of the book, because we've been reading from You're Something Special, Snoopy. And I thought the back comic would be good. So here it is, and it is very sweet. It's very thoughtful and interesting for our times. What would you say you want most out of life, Charlie Brown? To be happy. Oh no. I don't expect that. I really don't. I just don't want to be unhappy. So that's a good... We always talk about how we're feeling every day and it is okay to just be okay some days. Not excited or happy or whatever. And on the last page it says, Life is difficult, isn't it, Charlie Brown? Yes, it is. But I've developed a new philosophy. I only dread one day at a time. So that's good advice. Just deal with the problems that you have today. And don't worry about what's ha going to happen tomorrow. Because you can't do anything about it yet. So good advice, Charlie Brown. Okay, and next is the item from yesterday, which was this. And we've got a little bit of crystals in the bottom. It's called the Storm Gauge. No, the Storm Glass. Can you see that? And on it, if it is clear, it's fair weather. If it's murky, it's going to rain. If crystals are at the bottom, it's thunderstorms. Large flake crystals, cloudy skies or snow in the winter. And a thread of crystals, it means it's windy. So you can see the crystals on the bottom. And there are a few down there. Sometimes there's nothing. And it's called the storm glass. And we've used that this year to see if it matched the weather. It's very, it's like, I forget who invented it, but it's quite old. You, should, you can look it up. I have to look that up. Storm glass. And this is the sound for today. See if you can tell me if you recognize it. No, nope, wrong spot. Sorry.
You know what it is? He's not saying it for me. There you go. That's, do you know who sings that? If you said Alice Cooper, you're right. School's out for summer. And the life skills. Okay, so we're going to just do a little tour of some of the things that I have to do in the summer. Oh, and I had a dermatology appointment yesterday. And my... And the doctor was telling me how important it is to protect your skin. So isn't that interesting? We were just talking about sunscreen and wearing your hat. And she said, you have to. You have to protect your skin from the sun. So this is one of my jobs that I'm going to have to keep track of. So this is my garden, what it's looking like right now. So I've got some strings up for my beans. I need to have, maybe I'm going to have some Swiss chard today. I think I'm going to take that broccoli. This is broccoli. I don't know how it's going to do. I need to harvest some lettuce. And my beans, I saw some. There's another broccoli. I think I did see, oh, a flower on the pea, so that was good. I'm going to have to maybe transplant these tomatoes. And these don't seem to be doing so good. This is cilantro. This is my apple tree from a seed. Look at that. And these are all sunflowers. I got some cucumbers over there. and Now look at how good that basil's coming. I think it's the soil. Might have to change that. And then there's my strawberries. So I'm hoping to have some strawberry shortcake this weekend. And then of course I have my beautiful flowers from Riverside. So that's one of the things I'm going to have to do this summer is take care of my garden. The other thing I want to do is sewing, like I said. And definitely start wearing more sunscreen. Because every day I'm going to sit out with olive. And I can see that my face is getting tanned. So I should make sure I put my sunscreen on. Okay, we're going to go to the zoo today. You can totally keep doing this in the summer. This is our animal today. Do you know what that is? We're in Asia, Eurasia. If you said a cow, it looks like a cow. But it starts with a Y. It is a yak, and this is in the region of Asia. It's the domestic yak. Yaks are heavily built animals with a sturdy frame. They have humped shoulders, short legs, and rounded hooves. The forehead is wide and the ears are small. Both sexes have horns. In males, the horns sweep out from the side of the head and then curve inward toward an upper tilt with an upper tilt. They typically range from 48 to 99 centimeters in length. That's the horn. Wow, that's like the length of a meter stick. The horns of females are smaller, only 27 to 64 centimeters, and have a more upright shape. Hair is thick, long, and shaggy, with dense woolly overcoat over the chest, flanks, and thighs. The guard hairs are short on the back and much longer along the sides, forming a fringed cape or skirt that reaches almost to the ground and is more pronounced in males. The tail is long and very bushy, also with long guarded hair covering much of its length. 
wild yaks are black in color with rusty brown tints, while domestic yaks vary greatly in color from black to light yellow brown, with many individuals having mottled white patches over parts of their sides and back. Wild yaks are bigger than domestic yaks and have bigger horns. Males are larger than females. Their height is two meters. Their weight is a thousand kilograms to 800 kilograms. And the horns, as we said, were about 90 centimeters. Where do they live? The wild yak inhabits the alpine tundra at altitudes of 5,000 to 7,000 meters, while the domestic yak can survive in much lower altitudes. The habitat can vary, consisting of three areas with different vegetation, alpine meadow, alpine steep, and desert steep. Each habitat features large areas of grassland, but differ in the type of grasses, small shrubs, and vegetation, average temperature, and precipitation. Habitat also can depend on the season. Some herds will migrate large distances seasonally to feed on grass, moss, and lichens. However, they prefer the colder temperature of the mountain plateaus. So what do you think the yak is? Carnivore, herbivore, omnivore? They are herbivore. Yaks are grazers with a diet mostly of low-lying grasses and grass-like plants, including shrubs, forbs, cushion plants, etc. found in the Tibetan Plateau. Though they will also consume moss and forbs, they drink frequently during the summer and eat snow in the winter. Sorry, I just noticed this little... Hmm. Threats to survival. Wild yaks have to compete with domestic yaks for grazing and are driven into the highest and most inaccess inaccessible places of the mountains. They are now protected in China, but their numbers are still declining. Hmm. So that's the yak. which to me looks very much like a cow. It, they also, they're very good for being used for farming and things like that. And milk, I think. Okay. So there you go, the yak. I like that word, yak. So our exercise today, we're gonna meditate one more time. Go sit outside, I hear the birds singing from here. So I'm going to take the computer, I'm just going to walk to the other side of the condo. And we'll sit in a different spot, we'll sit on this end of the couch. And we'll just maybe face out like this. Take some deep breaths in and out. And just listen to the sounds. I just heard a dog. Make some morning dogs. Deep breath in and out. Okay.
Okay. Just taking a minute to breathe and enjoy the outside. Listen to the birds. Do you have a place at your house that you can go and sit and listen to outside? It's a nice thing to do. Relaxing. Okay, and the last thing is our lantern. Oh, you can see I've been cleaning. But this way, right there, there's the lantern. And remember what the lantern says? This is what we need to do now. Relax, renew, and refresh. That's what we're going to do for the summer. Okay, so I just want to say thank you for watching the 60 episodes if you're on the 60. Some aren't, which is great. You can watch them during the summer. And I miss you, and I hope you have a wonderful summer, and take care. And yeah, I'll see you again, I'm sure, because we'll see what September brings, right? We don't know yet. Okay. Bye. Happy Friday. Woo-hoo. Happy summer. Bye.